Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. I just woke up the cat. He's been sleeping here since this morning's stream and hasn't moved. I hope you're all well today. It's nice to see you here again. <laughs> so what I'm going to do just to start with, because it normally takes a few minutes just to give everyone a chance to arrive, is I'm just going to start off with a little video I made of Max, and I'll explain more of this coming up. Um, it's a little video I made of, I make a lot of cat toys for Max, so I've got some new ones sitting with me that he's never played with. We're going to have some fun with him. I'll wake him up shortly. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to share with you one little video I made of one of the recent things I made for him, um, which will just give us a chance to say hello to everyone properly. And then I'll start us off with some hello song and we'll go from there. So let me just quickly mute myself because I... Hello everyone, as you may or may not know, I make a lot of Twilight's a creation, the stuff that I make Hello everyone, as you may or may not know, I make a lot of little silly cat toys for my boy This is one I made him yesterday, which he has not played with yet, so let's give it a go This is an incredibly good use. And a little bit of wool and about five minutes effort, if that. I will show you how to make these. I make them in a whole heap of varieties. They particularly like natural fibers, so it's got to be wool or cotton. They are not into synthetics. And as <laughs> any of you that have had animals know, you cannot play with wool and textiles around a cat <laughs> because this happens. Yeah, you're gonna let go? You gonna let go of it for me? May I have it? May I have it? Here we go. Success. Take two. Ha oh, ha. You got it, Maxi boy. He likes this game a lot. I like throwing it on him <laughs> and seeing how long until he <laughs> loses it. You like that? Yeah, good five minutes. Yeah, I will spend five minutes with little Maxi boy. We're going to play with these a lot, aren't we? Oh no, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay, so it's like real simple crochet. I'll show you how to make one later. They're super easy. The reason I do two bits is because while they're playing with one, the other moves. So it gives them movement, which is what they want. So they always have two little bits of string and a few bits to get. They can catch, but nothing they can get their head caught in. Or anything like that, so I'm very mindful of this. Um, but they love natural fibres. So there you go. One simple cat toy. And one happy, happy, happy little Max. Yeah. <laughs> no, Max just like can't that? help himself with these little toys. He cannot resist them in any form. You're good boy. Max loves his boy. little toys every time I test them on other cats and they all feel the same And one loop for my finger <laughs> And just because I can't resist <laughs> Boom Nice one, Maxie Nice one 
Happy kitty, now give me that toy. Happy kitty, now give me that toy. Happy kitty, I want some more. Happy, happy cat. Happy cat, now give me that toy. Happy cat, now give me that toy. Happy cat, now give me the toy. Now I will sleep on it. Happy, 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 happy cat. Happy, 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 happy cat. It's violence, a creation, the stuff that I made. If you have a home loan. So there we go. Hello, everyone. So there was a little bit of, sorry, I'm inadvertently. <laughs> um, so little Maxie is with me now. I know we all love our cats and our animals, which is why we're here. So let me do a quick hello song for everyone. And, um, hello, visual poetry. Hello, Becky Ray's vlog. Hello, government watchdog news. days when I feel like I haven't quite woken up <laughs> and the cat's got a machine head for a head a machine head for a head hey little Maxie <laughs> he's been quite comfortably asleep for hours hello Pug um ooh, except for every time I move this and I wouldn't normally be able to leave a um hat sitting on top of him unless he is this way so let's seize the moment now what i'm going to do for you as well is i have this series of pig the pug books here 
which is a little collection of five books that I bought for Pug. Now, one of my favourite singers today, um, one of the people that is the best Mrs. Lovett in Sweeney Todd ever, Angela Langsbury, died today. And when I did one of these a while ago for Pug, I sung it as Sweeney Todd as the melody, so I'm going to do that for you. Um, we'll pick one of these books and I'll sing it for you. Um, and I also have here on this note, the other thing that's been here for a while, so this is going to make its way to America, as is this. <laughs> so here we go. We've got we've got the pugs here in spirit. I'll put them next to the cat. <laughs> so there we go. Um, hello, Warlock. Really good to see you. I hope you're having a magic day. <laughs> um, it's been a interesting one on my side. It was. I had a lot of fun this morning. We. Um, I did a retrospective of the guinea pigs, and I started on the guinea pig channel, um, which is my cavi conscious, this one, here, let me go, this one, was the first channel I started on, and it was actually all about feeding plants to guinea pigs, and I used to love watching them, and I'd show my friends, and they all said to me, you should put this on YouTube, I'd watch that, and I'd be like, seriously? And after the fifth person said that to me, I went, Okay, and I started making videos, and that was probably like six years ago. And with all of it, it's all about the pets. They make us happy, be it guinea pigs, cats, dogs, horses, birds, fish, whatever it is. Or if we don't have them, watching them or getting out in nature a bit and seeing the, you know, the wild birds and stuff. It all makes us happy. And particularly when it comes to pets, they're one of the best reducers of stress there is. You know, we get a really positive hormone payoff as well. We get oxytocin, which is uh, one of the positive hormones that is the bonding hormone. Every time we pat one of our pets, and they get it too, so both of us get the oxytocin, uh, reduces our stress. And for me, the difference between having a pet and not having a pet is between a house and a home. And I've lived on my own for a long time, and I like doing that. I do that by choice. But if it wasn't for animals, I I wouldn't necessarily be the same way. Yeah, get a pet. They're the best things you can do. And different pets have different needs. Like cats are a lot less maintenance than a dog is. But the benefits of dogs is they get to go with you everywhere. Um, and there's lots of different pets. There's really simple pets like guinea pigs. Even just having a couple of fish is like, I find fish tanks far better to watch than a television. You know, they're really, really soothing and really calming. Um, let me just turn the filter off because I'm going to start having some fun with Max. So what I've got here is he is asleep. I'm going to move this or else it's going to get damaged. So this is one of my latest hats. Um, little spiky head on it. So... Um, and if you, you know, when it comes to pets and stuff like that, let me know. I've had all different pets. There'll definitely be something that fits in your life. Having company, you come home and it's a home. Um, they love being around you. Hello, Gautry. I'm really, really good to see you. I hope you are well today. Hello, hello, hello. I feel the need to sing you a Mighty Bush song. Give me a second. Or something silly for you. Give me two seconds. Da, 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 da. Um... <laughs> Even though I want to sing eels, it's not very appropriate. <laughs> but though the best line of that, elements of the past and the future coming together to make something not quite as good as either. <laughs> best line ever. Um, so, you know what? I might do a little bit of... Someone was looking at bouncing castles the other day. This one's fun. Now, the reason I'm going to sing Bouncy Bouncy too is I had a... Pomeranian Zoe, who a lot of you will have seen in my videos. I lost her last year and she um, was obsessed with miniature tennis balls and we would call them bouncy bouncy. So whenever you'd say bouncy bouncy, she'd go get one. We had bouncy bouncy mountain, which was about this high with these miniature tennis balls. She was so small that a normal sized tennis ball she couldn't lift. It was too heavy for her and she could only just kind of pick it up. So the Bouncy Bouncy song um, is also partly for Zoe. And this one's for you, Gautrium. So here we go. 
Bouncy, bouncy, oh, such a good time. Bouncy, bouncy, shoes all in a line. Bouncy, bouncy, everybody somersault, somersault, summertime. Everybody sing along. Bouncy, bouncy, oh, such a good time. Bouncy, bouncy, white socks slipping down. Bouncy, bouncy, stilettos are a no-no. Bouncy, bouncy, oh, bouncy, bouncy, oh. Every time I bounce, I feel I could touch the sky. <laughs> Which is a song about bouncing castles. Crimpin', absolutely. I love my crimps. And um, in all this time, you're the first person that's actually got the Mighty Bush thing. And I have a lot of Mighty Bush, a lot of Flight of the Concords, a lot of that sort of stuff here. A lot of the British stuff as well, which I know some of the people know too. But um, I always like to, and I do apologize, it's my computer's in the process of dying, everyone, too. So I can only use my touch screen. I can't use my mouse at the moment. So every time I need to do something, I've got to reach at the screen. So I do apologize. You see my fingers coming in and out a bit more than I would like at the moment. Hello, Jesse. Really, really good to see you. I hope you are well. I hope you are well. Mega love shout out. I do apologize. There's a couple of, let me quickly mod people now because I meant to do it earlier and I didn't get to the chat before it ended and the chat hasn't processed yet. So give me two seconds, everyone. I'm going to really quickly mod you up. Um, so what you can all do, just in case anyone didn't know, one of the reasons I mod you up is it's actually really easy to link up with people that way. So next to every comment in the chat, you'll three, see three little dots. If you click on that, there'll be a go to channel there and you can actually select that and it'll open the person's channel up for you. If you're on a phone or a tablet, it leaves the chat going. It just brings it up so you can subscribe to people. Or if you're on a laptop, you can open it up in another window. Um, and that way you can easily connect with people as well. So, because when I'm on my own, I find it really hard to share everyone's, like, no fielding. Now, I believe in life, they, um, everyone wants to be no fielding's character Vince. Everyone wants to be called Bosk in the glory of my outfit, you know. But we're all a little bit more Howard. And it comes down to electro or jazz. And I'm a little bit more jazz and electro. <laughs> um, so that's a lot of it as well. And, oh, I love Naboo. They're brothers. You know Naboo and, um, and Noel are brothers. So that's Michael fielding his brother. And it was Michael that came up with the term. So, um, you have a mighty bush, meaning a massive hair. And um, so that's where the show name came from. And I've normally got a mighty bush. I've got masses of hair. So at the moment, I cut it all off <laughs> during lockdown because, you know, why not? Um, so, yes. Hello, Peter. I know I um, enjoy it in the background. This is always meant to be a bit of a um, bit of chill. Oh, yours has died too, Mary. There you go. You know what it's like. Um, my cat did it, by the way. When I was in the shower, the cat knocked the laptop, my tablet, and my phone off on the, on the floor. The tablet's got a crack on the screen now. All care of the cat. This little shit here. While I was in the shower. <laughs> See, cats will retaliate. Cats will retaliate like no other animal and they will mutiny like no other animal and they'll wait for days. And all of a sudden something happens and you have to think back and go, oh, what did I do? Why did I cop that? Hello, funny IRL clips. Really, really good to see you. Hello, Lauren. Really, really good to see you. I hope you're really well today. Yeah, you don't want that. You don't want that at all. So, look, let's have a little bit of fun quickly with Max before I jump onto the next one. So, I would have shown you earlier some of the toys I've made for him. Now, I've got some of his favorite toys. This is the only one I didn't make myself. This is a Kong one that he just adores. He's eaten the feather off the end of it. <laughs> so, let's see if we can wake the cat up. Give me a second. He normally cannot resist this one. No, he's being no fun today. So this is what I normally do. I normally leave them on top of him. We also have a bit of wool and a crow feather. This is his favorite by far of all of the other ones. 
This one he normally can't resist. No. The urge will take him eventually. <laughs> okay, we'll leave Max there. We'll keep piling toys on him until he wakes up. Because I have some new stuff to play with him with that he's never seen before and I wanted to um make a really quick one while I'm talking. So only take a minute or two to make. So um Yeah, and you can you gotta be careful when you wake a cat up. See the best way to wake a cat up is from a distance. There's a reason all of these things Cats will swipe, so everything I make gives me safe distance for my hands too. So, because, you know, you want them to have their instinct, but you don't want your fingers to be in the way, <laughs> is pretty much what I've learned. Um, so, and uh, if a lot of you haven't subscribed to Laren as well, you'll love Laren's channel as well. She does um, similar open mics to this as well. She plays the guitar and sings as well. We were there for a little while last night. It was a huge amount of fun. Really lovely people as well. There's some really talented musicians here as well. So um, on the musician side, I definitely recommend you get Epiphonium's really, really phenomenally good. So is Gortrium. Who else have we got here? And obviously you all know Pug backwards. So, and Jessie as well is a really lovely singer as well. I heard her sing on Asumi's panel. She's really lovely too. Um... Who else have we got here? Let me just make sure I don't miss anyone. Because I know a lot of us love music and a lot of us play music. So it's always really nice to, you know, these people that I really <laughs> like what they do. So let's um see if we can do a little bit of music. I had one of those, I don't know if everyone... Yesterday was one of those days and I think it's because I did a live stream and then did a four hour open mic with Pug but I was fried and I woke up in the morning and I'm like oh I can't stream today and um, so I do apologize for not being around yesterday and I'm still a little bit whatever it is we're in the start of spring here too and I do get a bit of hay fever <laughs> which you got, I've got that slight bullfrog in my throat hello MCAT love how are you Keep on trucking. How's it out there? How's the trucking? How's the view? Have the roads been kind to you? Have they been clogged up? Full of random idiots making it hard. silly improv for us. So I was hoping to wake the cat up, but the cat's not being much fun for us today. So here we go. Let's put that slightly better angle. Hello, Ring Nation Clips. Really, really. I prepared today. Okay, this will wake the cat up. <laughs> 
I understand. Really nice to see you, Larry. And the way I look at stuff too, and this is where we're all like this, we all have lives, we're all in different time zones. Sometimes things align and you can hang out for a little while, sometimes they don't. Sometimes you can hang out for a minute, sometimes it's longer. We always just do what we can and we always appreciate when we see each other. We're all, all over the place. And, you know, I'm in Melbourne, Australia, so I'm, you know, really on the other side of the world to most of you. <laughs> so we align when we can. It's really nice to see you and I hope you, um, I hope your day goes well. <laughs> so here we go. This is for you, Ring Nation Clips. And I gave you a congratulations for 15,000 in a recent stream and you're already up to 16,000 now. It's been such a meteoric ride. So here we go. Give me two seconds. You can ring my bell and wake the cat. <laughs> you can ring my bell and wake the cat. See, he humors me. He's like, fuck off you, man, can't you see I'm asleep? <laughs> I just want to sleep, not any of this. <laughs> so congratulations, Rain Nation Clips. It'll be 20,000 next time we see you. I hope. <laughs> More cowbell. More cowbell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. The cat's going to get annoyed with me. So, so let me just quickly cat up with the chat. Ah, oh, you'll be doing nice. So the Coax Chrome cassette, I really like. The last one you did, Lust for Power, the lyrics were like so on the zeitgeist at the moment. And it had that kind of, um, I loved it. It was like really, really cool. So, oh, not really good. MCAT, I hope you feel better. Are you on the road at the moment or are you here? Let me just quickly scroll and make sure I haven't missed anyone. Sup! Sup! Um, <laughs> I know. And the cat's like, should we see if I can get him to at least play with his toys now? Saying I've woken him a bit. And if he's sufficiently annoyed, there we go. We're in part wake up. He's debating it. Are we going to play? Are you going to play with me today? No. Ah, there we go. <laughs> We're partly into the game. Yay. Okay, we're on. <laughs> no, only partly. See, he loves his feather more than anything. What I've also got here for him, which he hasn't seen yet, is I've got a cockatoo feather that I picked up in the park and a peewee feather here, which is black and white. <laughs> and I was going to make these into a new toy for him. There we go. See, he can't resist the feathers. He loves the feathers. Don't you? You love the feathers. Shall I stick them up your nose? Yeah, you love the feathers. There you go. You can play with them. So I'll leave them with him for the moment. He'll try to eat them for a little while because that's what he does. Hello, better fish. Really, really good to see you. Really good to see you. I hope the fish have been plentiful. <laughs> um... Yeah, and that's what it's all about. And the lyrics are so important. Like for me, and I think you're probably the same, and I know a lot of you here are the same. I love my lyrics, and I find the music that stayed with me over time is the stuff that has really good lyrics. You know, like Pink Floyd, Tom Waits, King Crimson, all that sort of stuff, you know. Um, yeah, maybe. <laughs> exactly. He's he's licking the wool in his mouth at the moment. <laughs> um and that's all, you know, part of it. So, um, but what I might do then, I'll do us one of these Pig the Pug books quickly here. So, what I need from everyone, and I need to move up a bit closer with this. Sorry, I'm flashing my bloody tits today, which I really don't want to be doing. Um, so, we have Pig the Fibber, Pig the Winner, Pig the Grub, Pig the Pug, or Pig the Star. Now, Pig the Pug is the first book in the series, so maybe we should start with that. 
but I will leave it up to yourselves to choose. Maybe Pug, you should choose, saying these are yours. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sing each of these to a different song, and then I'm going to send them over to Pug. So because we lost Angela Langsbury today, I'm going to do Sweeney Todd, which makes me really happy. Um, and um, so I'll sing it to that tune. And for each of the other ones, and I'll do one every couple of days, we'll choose a different song. And I'll sing the, the book to that song. So, um, what else did I have here? I need a sip of my coffee, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> like me, I'm like... Doo -doo 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 -doo. See, I thought the cat was going to play along a little bit more, but he's like, nah. We can try the instruments. He's not a fan of the high-frequency duck noises on this. Here we go. No, he's not playing along today. And I often find him asleep in the music basket on top of my instruments. He loves sleeping on the instruments. <laughs> he's been getting closer and closer to this basket since I put it there. That's pretty much been what happens. Um, oh, my pleasure. Okay, look, I'm just going to... Let's go for the first one in the series, which is the Pig the Pug one. So, un momento... Now, these are a series of books by Alan Bradbury. He is a Melbourne... So there we go. You can see that there. He's a Melbourne author. author well, I don't know if he's Melbourne. He's definitely Australian. So Aaron Blabby. They're really cool series of books. They're all over the place. We were talking about these the other day too, Gortrim, and I didn't get to it. Hello, Jean. Really good to see you. I met you yesterday through Laren's stream. Let me really quickly mod you up. Give me two seconds before I start this. I do apologise if we get an echo for a second because it has been a twilight zone kind of day. And I think you'd said, Gautrim, that these had come up like for you earlier that day or something like that. So welcome, welcome. I hope you are well. Um, so here we go. Okay. So this is the pig, the pug. So what I'm going to do for us is I'm going to sing this in the um, tune of Sweeney Todd <laughs> and show you some of the pictures as we go. So hopefully, I'll get that as close as I can. Hopefully you can see what we're doing here. I hope you enjoy this, everyone. So here we go. Attend the tale of Pig the Pug A book by Aaron Blabby so join me now and let's have a look and see what the story's about. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say he was greedy and selfish in most every way. So there we go, there's Pig the Pug. <laughs> He lived in a flat with a sausage dog, Trevor. But what was he nice to him? I'll tell you never. You've got some great toys there, Trevor would say. But Pig would just Grumble. They're mine. Go away. <laughs> no, they are mine. Are you deaf? Only mine. You keep your paws off them, you sausage safe swine. I know what your game is. 
you want to share. How dare you share? But I'll never do that. I won't, and I swear. And with that, he proceeded to gather his stuff and made a big pile with a huff and a puff. <laughs> there we go. And once he had gathered them, which way do we go that way? Up in a pile. He howled from the top with a satisfied smile. There shouted pig, now you won't get my loot. It's mine, it's mine, 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 mine. So why don't you scoot? <laughs> But just at that moment, poor Trevor did see the pile was wobbling, just like wobbly. <laughs> oh, oh dear, watch out up there, good Trevor did cry. But the shame of it was, shall we find out? <laughs> Well, pig cannot fly. <laughs> These days it is different. I'm ha happy to say it's so very different in most every way. Yes, Pig shares his toys now, and Trevor is his friend, and they both play together. While Pig's on the mend. <laughs> so there we go. That is... Pig the Pug. I do apologize. It was a little crooked while I was doing that. I love kids' books. I love them. I've got so many of them, and I can do a lot more of these. I intend to do a lot more of these. They're fun. So there you go. That was the first in the Pig the Pug series, which at least explains who Pig the Pug is. <laughs> We've got a few more of those we'll do um, in the future. So there you go. I hope you all like that. We'll put that back in our little collection. <laughs> for next time. So let me see. Oh, man, we've already done 37 minutes, which means we don't have too much time to go. I was hoping to have more cat play, but the cat's, like, not playing along. He's like, nah, I'm sleeping. You're annoying me now, woman. You're annoying me. Can't you see I'm sleeping? This is my favorite game, by the way. <laughs> putting things on the cat while he sleeps. <laughs> I think we all do things like this too well. Hello, Jackson. Really good to see you. I do apologize. You're not a mod. I'll try to mod you shortly. And a crow puppet for good measure. We've got a crow feather next to the crow puppet. <laughs> the cat is not amused. Let me give you a slightly better look at the cat. Here we go, everyone. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you like that, Maxie? So, in true style, Max is giving us a really good version of pets you can have. You can have birds, you can have cats, you can have dogs, you can have sheep in the form of wool, you can have puppets, <laughs> you can have puppets or stuffed toys, if they are not your... um your way of doing things. We're really, really good. I hope you are well. I hope you are really well. Really good to see you too, John. I know we did meet you last night. So, um, actually, let me do a tiny bit of recorder for everyone because the cat does love the recorder. The cat thinks the recorder is a bird. So, if we're going to wake the cat up, this is probably the best way to do it. So, here we go, everyone. I do apologize if I've mixed, missed anyone in the chat. <laughs> 
Yeah, thank you. It's and it, I have to keep them all in baskets and stuff around. If not, the cat sleeps in them. So here we go. Let's try a little recorder. The cat has woken. How gold was that, seeing him wake up and rise with the recorder? So let's see what she loves the recorder. He'll come and row up against me. He loves the recorder. No, he's just turned around and gone to sleep the other way. I am not impressed with you, human, is what he's saying. So, hello, Crimson Red. There you go. You've made my song choice really easy. So, I had a song lined up for someone that I was hoping to say, but I'll keep that for next time. I hope you are... <coughs> Pardon me. Well, let me at least have a sip of my coffee, everyone. Sorry. So this one's for you, Crimson Red. Let's do one of the ones that I haven't done. Okay, here we go. So we've been, I think this was coming up in conversation yesterday. We were talking about wind and stuff like that as well. We'll leave Mr. Maxie to sleep. So here we go. This is for you, Crimson Red. Some King Crimson. Said the straight man to the late man, Where have you been? I've been here and I've been there and I've been in between. I talk to the wind My words are all carried away I talk to the wind The wind does not hear The wind cannot hear I'm on the outside, looking inside. What do I see? Much confusion, disillusion, all around me. I talk to the wind My words are all carried away I talk to the wind The wind does not hear The wind cannot hear you don't possess me, don't impress me, just upset my mind. Can't instruct me or conduct me, just use up my time. I talk to the wind My words are all carried away I talk 
to the wind, the wind does not hear, the wind cannot hear. So there we go, there's a little King Crimson, who I am a massive fan of. So, thank you everyone for joining me today for some fun and talk about pets and other random stuff. I'll be back in a few hours for a nature retrospective. I hope to see you there, if not later on, or some other time. Good night, Yun. Nice to see you. Good night, government watchdog. Gautrium 85. Keep grooving on. Good night and hello. Purple moon. Hello, crimson red. I hope you are well. Was good to see you. Till next time, pug face. Great to see you. And Mary Gonzalez, Soul Sister 22. Jackson Paranormal. And Epiphonia. Been lovely to have you here for some fun. Keep on trucking, MCAT. I hope you feel better. And I hope, Laren, that work passes well. Hello, Chevy man. How are you today? Drove my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Good old man was drinking whiskey and rye, singing, This will be the day that I die. This will be the day that I die. Hello to you, Mr. Fix It All. Hello, Unicorn Vlogs. Nice to see you here with me today. I'm sorry that I'm about to end, but I hope to see you next time. <laughs> I did sing your name, and I'm sorry if I missed anyone. Hello, Kalimba Master, I have one for you. Just give me a second.
Thank you for joining us for another episode of the Twilight Zone today. Hello, R. Harris. I am really sorry I missed you. Very good to see you today as well. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Twilight Zone. Please make sure you check your overhead compartment before you leave or I will rifle through your belongings and steal anything of worth. Please make sure you also pat the cat on the way out or he will try to follow you. There you go, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. I do apologize if I missed anyone. I did. Sorry, Peter, I missed you. Good night to you, Peter Del Rosio Bye, everyone. <laughs> sorry, big flash of my boobs at you. <laughs>